quick word for you guys. I just want to address something that I'm noticing. We are in a season of manifestation and the enemy is very subtle in this season, okay? I want to make sure to bring up to you that there is a dual tactic happening right now in the body of the Christ that is you have to be very and I said this before in one of my other broadcasts but I, I didn't go into what I'm about to say there is a element where there is a subtle desire to get you to speak against leaders and leadership and let me clarify by saying this there are some leaders they are doing wrong and must be called out for what they did because there's scripture in the bible all over the place that says that they need to be called out for what they have done but there is also a contrary spirit, a strange fire that is operating in the body of Christ right now that will try to get people to come into agreement. I've been noticing it since the beginning of the year. And I notice it happens at the beginning of every year, actually. We'll get you to try to speak contrary about people. Now, some people go into massive subtle rants about stuff. When I asked the Lord within the last, I'll say year or two, because anywhere that I notice that I feel like I am, and it's easy to slip into a point where you're talking to an individual and they want to talk about a person I had the Lord start to pull me out of relationships with people that wanted to talk about people because if I have to and I find myself having a conversation with the Lord after I've gotten in a conversation with you about why did that person direct the conversation to towards talking about this individual and I have to try to back my way out of this conversation satan is trying to get you to come into agreement with the tongue of talking about individuals and i'm going to tell you this right now the reason i gained this wisdom was because i was listening to tiffany montgomery tiffany was talking about a situation that happened in her circumstance and with her circumstance it made me come to the realization that when it says in your word, repent quickly. There has been a couple of times that I had to repent quickly because somebody frustrated me. A leader may have frustrated me. And you know what I do? And I'm telling you the honest truth. I go into the prayer closet with the Lord immediately after. And I said, was that correct of me to have said, if I, I don't feel good in my heart for this Lord, I need to repent. And I feel that that was wrong. I will start to separate myself from people that I feel are talking like that. I find myself separate myself from a lot of people. I do. But there is also this, this spirit that wants you to talk about people. So he will try to get you to talk about, talk about people, talk about your leaders. Why? Because gossip is their end of death. Because what does God hate? People talking about people in communities. So I had to step back and make that point of saying, I completely agree. That when you see people that are talking about people sub subtly and subliminally. And I. I'll even be guilty to say that <clears throat> in the past years, I have gotten frustrated, uh, but I got corrected by one of my leaders who made the point of saying in one of her broadcasts that you have to, if you're going through something, one, what does the word say? If you have an alt against your brother, what? You either take it up with your brother or take it to the Lord. 
Because sometimes you have to recognize that sometimes the alt that you may have is with a level of correction that that person is doing. And the alt may also be that your spirit recognizes something about their spirit that is incorrect and your spirit cannot withstand being in the presence of that spirit that they're dealing with. So you have to go to God in all cases and make sure that you are operating under the right spirit. Because God, there are some prayers God ain't going to listen to. But you got to also recognize if you're operating in offense, you got to also recognize whether you are operating in the wrong heart posture. You got to circumcise your own heart and you got to check your pride at the door. And then if you notice this happening too much, you may need to separate yourself from these individuals until you and God have dealt with what is wrong with you. Because guess what? Let me tell you this and tell you this quickly. That no matter, let me hear you and hear me clearly. That no matter. You can sit up there and pray all kinds of prayers because you mad at another individual. You know what he going to do first? He going to check you. You. So you better make sure you correct before you come to God about anybody. And God sees all things. So if you talking wrong, what you think? And you sitting up there asking for blessings? I know you better get in your, your prayer closet and repent. And, and I say it's a subtle attack because he'll make you say it randomly. And it's like, wait, when I catch myself saying something randomly, I'm like, where did that come from? I got to go in the prayer closet and be like, God, that was left field. That was something. There was a spirit there. What was that spirit? Let me recognize that spirit and let me go cut the head off of it immediately because we are human beings. We have the ability to sin. Remember the scripture that talks about it being as unto filthy rags, right? We are lower than God. Romans 7 talks all about the sins that we allow ourselves to be beset by. I'm going to need you to check yourself. Because there are people, and some of y'all may even be guilty too. Because one set of y'all will come in and be loving. But there's those sneaky side listening individuals that will listen and curse what God is doing. I always check me first. The first prayer I ever pray when I go into God, if I'm wrong, please tell me I am wrong. Check yourself. Check your heart. Check your mind. Check your spirit. Maketh within you the cleanliness of heart. And if you notice subtle issue. Go back and check. I don't care how small it is. Go back and check. Because we are all guilty. On a daily basis, we should be repenting and asking God forgiveness. That don't mean that every single day we out here saying something wrong. And don't get caught up in that lie that the enemy will sit up there and tell you. Oh, if you talk about somebody, he already. Yeah. Yeah. He'll forgive you, but understand God keeps track of things. There are some people that will sit up and say and say things day after day after day after day after day. You have to be a person that has a integral part of yourself that you will come to a recognition in the name of Jesus of what. You do and stop doing it. Sin is an iniquity that you like. If it's in you, it takes a strong and mature person to recognize it and stop. I 
I wanted to bring you this open rebuke because I just wanted to address the fact of I have a level of understanding and I honor my leaders. So if at any point I find myself feeling uncomfortable about an individual or something that somebody said, not Tiffany, not in, matter of fact, let me explain something to you. The reason I came on here is because I'm afraid of Tiffany Montgomery. <laughs> because not because she's so dangerous, but the way God uses her for her heart. <laughs> Some people you just should not talk about. <laughs> but it brought me a revelation that I felt that I needed to share with you. I support Tiffany, whatever it is that she's going through. Stop. So, keep your leaders in prayer. If you recognize an all in your system, understand and pay close attention. It's probably because of the fact that the enemy is trying to get you to curse a leader so that automatically you won't be able to get your blessing because he can hold an all against you in heaven saying you curse this leader. And because the covering on, on that person, God has to honor the leader because you were in the wrong and you didn't repent. You understand how that works? I hope, I hope you're understanding what I'm saying because it's dangerous to do that. Because guess what? You talking about somebody like that in the wrong manner? You sitting up here wondering why your blessing hasn't come? Maybe you need to check and see who you was talking about. Because what is it that God hates and thinks as unto murder? Gossip. You better check your tongue on a daily basis. Don't play. Do not play. I just talked about repentance not too long ago. Do not play with this. Because you don't want to be the one to sit up there and fall in a season that you thought she was getting risen up. And God said, I can't rise you up because Satan made sure to make sure that God knew. Because God sees all and knows all. That you spoke wrong. Check your heart posture. And before you start going and agreeing because there is this lovely thing that people tend to like to do where they pull, uh, what you call it? Uh, it's a group wave mentality. That the group mentality is to go with the negativity underneath that leader. But you better make sure that that leader is being, because you have, would literally be leading people astray. Don't you... Ever, ever, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I didn't say something wrong, please take me to God because I'm in God's face every day. Every day. But I also suggest to you that before you talk about me, understand I'm in God's face every day. So because I'm in God's face every day, Understand he knows me well. I know when to repent. I know what I have said. I've had times where I've like, should I not, should I have, was I speaking out my feelings about that? I check me all the time. Check yourself too. Because Satan's trying to get up under your skin this way. It is a it's a last dish effort to get you to talk about individuals. I 
I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm going to say this. Okay. That because people idolize anyone, I'm talking about whether you're in ministry, whether you're in celebrity or whatever it is God has called you to do. People just have an idolatrous spirit. Don't make anybody an idol. Don't make me. Don't make Tiffany. Don't make any. I talk about, um, what is it? Stephanie P and all of those types of people. I talk, I speak good words about people. Why? Because I have the understanding. One, I ain't a prophetic plagiarist, so I'm not going to take anybody else's words. But I also have the fullness of understanding. I speak what God says for me to speak. And then I reference because what does it say? We prophesy in part. So if God gave me a word and then I come to the recognition that this person talked about another part that you could also glean from. Guess what? I'm going to tell you who that person is. I'm not sitting up here. But see, there are some people that have the assumption. Assuming and all of this kind of stuff. This is where rumors come from. We are in that type of season. Watch your mouth. Be very careful on jumping on bandwagons in this season. I appreciate people. Don't ever love anybody too much because they themselves will become an idol and you will become their slave. Do not do it. I pray for you. I hope this bless you. Until next time. Bye-bye.